In this video, we're going to begin looking at linear equations that become a little more involved. Still, our goal is the same, to figure out what number this x is representing to make this an equation a true equation, to make it equal 16. However, there's a little bit more than just the normal two-step equation this time, as we have something in front of the parentheses. There are several ways we can handle this. Probably the most popular is to start by doing what we normally do when we see something in front of parentheses, and that is to distribute that number through the parentheses. When we distribute through the parentheses, 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times a negative 6 is negative 24, and this still equals 16. It's important to notice, I'm still lining up that equal sign, as we're going to attempt to balance on that equal sign, solving the remaining two-step equation. As usual, we get rid of whatever is added or subtracted. The 24 negatives, we get rid of with 24 positives on both sides. When we do that, the 24s will subtract out to 0, leaving just 8x on the left and 40 on the right. We almost have the x alone, which is our goal. We still have 8 times x, so to get rid of the 8, we have to divide it into 8 groups on both sides. This tells us that each x is equal to 5. As usual, it will be a good idea to go back and check our answer in the original problem. When we claim x is 5, that means we should be able to replace the x with a 5 and get a true equation. Let's see what happens when we do that. The problem was 4 times 2x, which is now 5, minus 6, and we hope that equals 16. We will follow the order of operations on the left side to see what we get. First, inside the parentheses, doing 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 6, and we hope this will equal 16. Finishing the parentheses, 10 minus 6 is 4, and we hope that's equal to 16. And sure enough, when we multiply 4 times 4, we get 16 equals 16. We have found the number for x that will make this into a true equation. x equals 5, or represents the missing number 5.